Since this is a mixing course, I'll be spending quite a bit of time in Studio One's mixer. So in this video, I'll give you an overview of the mixer and I'll set levels and pan to create a rough starting mix. So to open up the mixer, you can click the mix button here to toggle it, or you can press F3 or function F3 to toggle this. Now, one thing to keep in mind about F key shortcuts is that, especially if you're a Mac user, depending on how you have your F keys set up in your system preferences, you may have to press function and then the F key. So for me, I have to hold the function key, then press F3 to toggle the mixer. If you have your F keys set up another way, or if you're a PC user, you can just press F3. So that's just a little quirky thing that you have to keep in mind for all F key shortcuts. If you click on this little arrow icon here, you can detach the mixer. So this is really helpful if you have a second display and you wanna move the mixer over to that display and then keep all of your tracks on another display. Each channel in the mixer corresponds to a track in the main area of the song page. And you'll see there's an icon on each of the tracks that denotes the type of track. And on the left side here, you can actually hide and show different types of tracks. So for example, if I want to hide all of my buses, I can click here. So both of those bus channels that I created with the folders, all of those channels are being hidden now. And you can see that these are all hidden up here. All of these tracks that are grayed out are all hidden tracks. Just one thing to keep in mind though, hidden tracks will still play back unless you've muted them. So let's go ahead and show my buses. And I could also hide my audio tracks as well. And now I'm just seeing my buses. And there's other types of tracks that you can hide and show as well, including instrument tracks, effects tracks, aux tracks, and VCAs. We'll get into those later on in this course. On each channel, you can mute solo. And if you're doing any recording work, you can arm for recording and input monitor the channel. A quick shortcut for mute and solo is M to mute and S to solo. Notice that if I solo a channel, it mutes all of the other channels, except in the case where that channel is going to a bus channel like it is here. If you want a track to never be muted when another track is soloed, you can put the track in solo safe mode. To put a track in solo safe mode, hold shift and click on the solo button and it'll turn green. Now if I solo another track, you'll see it mutes all of these other channels, but my track that was in solo safe mode is not muted. And then to turn off solo safe mode, simply hold shift and click on the solo button again. If you solo a bus channel, you'll see that it also solos all of the channels within the bus. The faders in Studio One's mixer go from plus 10 on the top to negative infinity on the bottom. Faders allow you to adjust the volume level of each of the tracks using DBFS. FS stands for full scale, and this is a digital scale for volume or decibels in the DAW world. If you wanna set a volume fader back to Unity, simply command click on it or control click on it on a PC. Unity just means no added or reduced gain. So it sets it to zero. Up here you have a pan control for each of the channels. And the same as with the volume faders, if you wanna reset these, just command click on them. Up top here you have a bunch of blank slots for inserts and sends. So for example, if I wanted to add an effect to my vocal channel, I could just click the plus button here and either search for a particular plugin or go to the Personas folder and add a plugin. So here I've added the channel strip plugin to the verse vocals. You can activate or deactivate any of the plugins individually here, or you can click up here to activate or deactivate all of the inserts on a channel. And if you wanna remove a plugin, simply right click and select remove. Next, I just wanna do a real rough level and pan mix Nothing that's going to be permanent, but just a rough mix that is good enough to listen to for now. So the first thing I like to do is I like to select all of the channels. So you can hold shift, select the first and then the last channel, and then pull all of them down by about 10 dB. The reason why I do this is if all of the channels are at unity, generally your main output is going to clip. So this is gonna prevent the main output from clipping. Another thing I can do even before I start listening to this is I know I have some different stereo pairs. I have eight different stacked vocals in the chorus. So what I'm gonna do with these is they're in pairs. So I'm gonna pan one of them left, 
hand the other one hard right, and then just continue on down all eight of the channels. Left, right, left, right, left, right. My buses can be reset to Unity because I can adjust the levels from the individual channels. So I'll do that same thing with the drum bus as well. Neon lights reflect both your green eyes. Can I kiss you? Will you kiss me back? Can I love you? Alright, so that's just a rough start. In the next video, I'll cover bus channels, VCA channels, and groups.